okay at this point we have all our section in place now let's build our resume page where we can pull all the data from all these section into one place to generate our resume so before doing that i want to fix small typo inside our user detail edit blade file we forgot this curly braces all right so closing braces opening one okay so with that fix now let's go ahead and generate our route that will display our final resume so to do that i i will need one controller called resume controller let's create that open up terminal PSP artisan make controller named resume controller there we go and in web.php let's define a route for that resume index and I will name this route as resume dot index. Now let's go to resume controller and create that method. Index method. This will return a view named resume. All right. And now we'll need that file inside our views. Resume dot play dot PSP. There we go. Now let's create a HTML. So there is shortcut in VS Code. Shift one tab. All right. Resume and let's put s2 and let's verify this route in our browser if you go to resume we should see that uh, what went wrong let's go to web yeah just resume not index here slash resume there we go so now our route is working so we'll pull all information here and into this view we need to pass all the data so we'll have auth user here and we need to only allow authenticated user to access this route slash resume that's why we make this auth and we'll have auth user and this auth user we need to pass inside here compact user so inside here we have now this user variable okay so now here we need to pull in all section first we need to pull in heading section centered section Can give section this is shortcut just create this class with section tag so we'll need heading section we'll need education section similarly work section skill section okay so these are the section we'll need and on s2 tag first we'll display the name of user so we have user variable and we have that stored inside detail and full name okay so full name of none object so there is details i guess yeah that's right so in inside user model we have defined that relationship this details so we have all relationship defined so now it will be quite easier to pull in like so 
and similarly let's pull in email phone number etc all right so we have our heading information in place so next section will be summary section where we'll display objective so in s2 we'll say summary and here we'll display summary all right so we can make this bolder just wrap that inside strong tag okay similarly you need to pull in all the information for education work and skill so if you don't know how to do just take reference from here you have already done it inside education index we are already pulling all information by looping through education section and displaying data in particular format like so so we'll not need this edit delete button so here we have already pulled in all education summary we just don't need edit and delete button you can just pull in that over here below here okay so i will not let you see this and i will quickly type this out okay so here i have put education section just loop through all the user educations and display this degree school start date graduation date same thing for work experience and skills so now let's see how it looks there we go so right now it is all packed inside right we need to put that over here right so some margin to the both side okay so the way we do it by the way, I have put all this code on GitHub. You can find this on this repository. So we need to define some styles. So we need to put uh, the style inside here, head. So I've increased size of font size of body and H2 got border on top and bottom and the container got width of 70 percent and margin zero and auto on both both side that will make this center so by the way container is we need to define this container and everything will go inside container so container will be the outermost part and we don't need that s2 resume okay this will let me let me make it see yeah so this container class will just give margin on both side and here border top border bottom we have given this border on both side like this border this border and similarly we have increased font size size to 17 pixel okay so black looks a bit let, let's give gray so this is our uh, resume now we need to print this resume into pdf file so to print this uh, html or blade file into pdf we have to use this package laravel dom pdf so just go to just search for laravel dom pdf or just go here you'll get that and we need to just include like this composer require copy this open up terminal put that there and hit enter and wait for it to finish it will take around two to three minutes i've already installed to save some time in your case pause the video and after it's it completed you can follow along all right so the way we generate pdf is like so 
we need to call this load view function and we need to pass the view file and supply the data and finally we can do pdf download and it will download the file so what will be cool is um, we need to put it put button here which will display that resume uh, preview we'll say preview and it will display the preview and on preview window we'll put the download button and when someone hits download it will download that okay so we need to put that on nav bar over here let's go to layout app and here on nav bar this is the nav bar this is the main container so inside nav bar over on my this one left side of nav bar and this is right side we'll put on left side we'll put one button so by the way we'll need a model bootstrap model so we can do use snippet p4 model default this one and it will generate all the boiler fleet so here we'll say preview and let's refresh we see this preview if we open nothing is there just body and let's replace this body with our resume so resume view whatever we were seeing on resume so we'll use iframe for that sorry about that and this model title let's give preview and in body we need to put iframe the source will be the route route resume dot index so resume dot index whatever will we we are seeing on this route resume will be displayed on that iframe so if you don't know what iframe is iframe is just a way to display web page inside web page so suppose we put iframe here it will display this kind of frame and inside there the content that is contained inside this file will be displayed on this box so that is the iframe you can call iframe as a tv all right so yeah iframe content uh, will load the content of resume index so we need to give uh, width and height first let's see how it looks refresh preview so it will preview all the content from there so we need to increase width and height let's do that so width will make 100 percent height will make let's say 900 and let's move this frame border everything like this and we'll make the model a bit larger model lg will make it a bit large there we go you can see our resume like this and here instead of save we'll make this button download which will download this okay save button let's get rid of this save button and create a b4 button a like so download and this download will load one route which will be responsible for downloading this file so we need to create that route first let's go to web.php and generate one route resume slash download 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 there we go now let's create this method inside resume controller resume controller create method name download and the work of this method is to download the file using this tom pdf so this is the syntax for downloading let's copy that into here or you can manually type so we need to import this pdf 
put the backslash like so load view we want to load view so we will load exactly this thing all right resume this view and we need to supply this data load view this thing same thing and download so here is name of the file that you want to give resume or you can say your resume so let's see this in action let's refresh the page hit preview so this will be our resume that will be printed hit download and looks like yeah we haven't updated our route and go to app.blade and here we need to put that route right without that how will that download route resume dot not index download okay once again refresh hit preview and hit download so it will download over here open that up like so so you can get this pdf file resume.pdf save inside your download folder okay so that's how we do it yeah that's it about previewing your resume and downloading so what's cool about this is you can update this thing on real time here like suppose you want to edit this instead of nepal you can do oxford university and save the education and you want to preview this just preview it will be updated here oxford university and then you can download it like so all right so that's all about this project you can add more fields to it more sections you can customize it make it look nicer so you can do many things on this project and yeah, you can try on it will be good exercise for you and if you have any queries get in touch on youtube or slack so i will see you on another project bye